From the highs of highs, and the two goes around. Brad Keselowski, a lot of damage to the front end of that car. Keselowski into the grass. You came up in front of him. Straight back to the garage here. So we heard there was already a question on the radio whether Brad thought he gave room or not. So we have to go back and see the replay here to see. We saw this yesterday in Xfinity race, yes. Rick. This exit of turn four. Guys running the top versus the bottom. Jeff, there's different closing rates, different speed. We saw Kyle Larson and Joey Logano disagree with this a couple times. Here he is passing the 11 to Denny Hamlin. Looks like he almost wiggles and comes up in front of him. I don't know if he needs to get out of the gas or what. And the 11 just basically makes contact. But I, I can't believe Denny just... Ran into him on purpose. We're going to have to see that look a few more times. Well, you heard the spotter. He said, did I give him room? And he said, well, you came up in front of him. Right there, he got loose, yep. slowed his momentum down. The 11 was coming, and that's why the problem. Keselowski thought he was clear, but when he was moving up the racetrack, he wasn't anticipating getting loose like that. He got crazy loose, had to lift off the throttle, I would imagine. Denny Hamlin got in the back of him. Yeah, so he came up in front of the 11, but the 11 just didn't have time to slow down, Rick, and ended up sending the two of Brad Keselowski into the grass. Yeah, that's a one way of looking at it. I mean, it's an automotive war zone out here. I think, first of all, my guys busted their butt on this Miller Lite Ford to get it back out. And there's parts, there's pieces. They were working on it with oil. There was a fire at one point, and they just worked their guts out. And if my team keeps putting up this kind of effort, I don't worry about today. We're going to go win 